Okay. All right. Well, nobody gave them to her. Okay. All right. So if you have an announcement, you're willing. You to that have your program. We ask you to please read the program, and we ask you to be sensitive to them and respond to the things that are on the program that you should respond to. Hallelujah. For his uh, announcement concern. Yes. Right. You pass out those that uh, we have here. The announcement that I have is that uh, I want you to upgrade you a little bit on what our situation is with the uh, church building. I know you are as much as I am very noticeable to the deteriorating part of the interior of the church. And I'm sure whoever walks in here, you look around and you wonder why and what, what the church has done to her. And I feel that it is my responsibility to try to keep you abreast, uh, updated on what our situation is. Amen. Uh, <clears throat> we have yesterday we hosted for a lot of is there any extra? The Christian Ministerial Fellowship Breakfast Monthly Meeting. And <clears throat> as a guest of the fellowship, we have uh, we had Senator Bill Market was here. We had Mr. Kaplan, who the founder of the Kaplan Foundation, uh -huh. and we had Miss Deirdre here, who is the uh, executive person of the Newburgh Armory. And I hope you know that the Newburgh Armory was uh, donated to the city of Newburgh for one dollar. And it's a real large place, both building and acreage. It's very large. They have a lot of pretensions and a lot of planning for the city of Newburgh. And their purpose of coming to meet with the Ministerial Fellowship was to influence and encourage the fellowship to be a partaker in the planning and the development of the armory, mm -hmm. which is a lot of things going on there and a lot of opportunities there a lot of things there for uh, this community to benefit from, especially our young people and many other places. And you, they want the minister of churches to be a partaker of the plan mm -hmm. and share your proposals of what you would like to see in that building uh, on that property. Uh -huh. There is things that the uh, different ministers propose other than recreation, swimming pools, and all this stuff. I heard, uh, I, I had a, a proposal myself to look into fellowship on People having banquets and things like this, probably they can have it in some part of that building is so big, it got so many big, big spaces. And uh, <coughs> it's time we have events, we go to Anthony Pier 9 and different places like this and pay big money to, it's not like it used to be. Uh, it used to be $30 a plate and that was it. Now it is $30 a plate plus another $10 or $12 or $15 a plate 
for the server. Oh, you can is it simply a tip for those that serve? So it, it becomes pretty expensive to go out in these places to have the events. So I'm, uh, I, I was very blessed by the fact that these people come to us and come to church people asking for advice, asking for guidance, asking for proposals, and so on. And we ought to be a part of community activity. And, that, and when we do, we get exposed to people that can help us. So Senator Larkin and Mr. Kaplan came in and they looked at all of the work here that needed to be done. Sure. Mr. Kaplan said, this is my old church home. This is my synagogue. I was a member of here about years ago. So Mr. Kaplan, Senator Larkin, and Ms. Yedra promised us that we could get a 20% from the state and 20% from the federal of whatever this whole work will cost. Whatever this whole work will cost. Senator Larkin gave his phone number to call him tomorrow morning so that he can set up a meeting with me and some experts that will come in and analyze and evaluate everything that needs to be done, what material that's going to be uh, accepted with the historic district, and, you know, everything to be done. And we will be able to go from there. Amen. Yes. So I am thankful to be exposed to the kind of people, the kind of people that can help us do that. Amen. 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 I'm thankful for your prayers because I know some of you are really sincere. And when you see these circumstances and conditions, I know you begin to pray. Thank God. And you ask God for your guidance and your blessings. Yes, yes. I'm thankful for that. I'm thankful for you that have decided to suffer with LIJM. The scripture teaches us that you that suffer with me will reign with me. You that suffer with LIJM will rise and will reign with LIJM. Those things that Brother Lauder just passed out to you is what we have put together as a fundraiser. Uh -huh. I passed them out at the fellowship yesterday, and within 10 minutes after I passed them out, I had the form filled out with a $500 check. Yay! Yes. Hey, Papa. How much we need all together? We won't know until the contractors give us. Uh, if we got to look at the contractor's estimate, and we got to look at the expert's estimate. That's going to. That's coming down. That Senator Larkin is going to send down. Okay. To give us an estimate of what to expect, how much cost would be. And that's all. How much we know, how much we have to raise. Amen. Okay? Amen. Uh, we uh, have some estimate. We are planning to do the whole building, the whole roof on the church, and all of the inside here, including those round windows in the front. Those two square windows in the front, it will be taken out and made look like church windows. Each one of these windows here will be taken out and 
may who end up uh, hopefully we can get stained by us on what happened. Mm -hmm. Amen. Uh, I just need your prayers and your consideration, your support to help me to have a sober mind to think clearly and focus my thinking and my concentration on what is right to do. Yes, yes. All right? So, uh, we got about 350 uh, drop-offs to do. Banks, businesses, uh, individuals. We're sending these out to Kenny folks out of town and all around. And we are thankful for the vision that God has given us to carry on His work. I don't know how other people look at things, but Psalm 37 and 37 and 37 says to me, Mark, the perfect man. When I study to see what that means, what I come up with is saying to me, take notice of a successful person and how and whatever mean they use to be successful mm -hmm. in the most honest God way. Yes. Take notice of it, let it be in the camp to you and draw some information from it that you may also prosper. I also notice the scripture that's in the 28 Deuteronomy that says, whatever I put my hand to do, he will bless it. So I am going to believe what the scriptures say. I'm trying to believe anyway what the scripture teaches me. Not just believe it with my mouth, but I'm trying to be one who not have the form of godliness and denying the power of God, but putting it in power action. Okay, we thank God for what's been said and done. Where'd you know? Elder Mike, come on. What do you got? Give me a, give me a song real quick. Give me a little quick short song, please.